Okay, so here we go with this. Um, I'm a little ways into it, and uh, I can already tell. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I can always tell uh, wherever where where the meat is going to be. Uh, once you get to a certain level, uh, a certain place of integration. You just, you know where you're guided, so you know where you need to go. You listen to the guidance, essentially, is what I'm saying here. And this is kind of a, what these guys are going to be talking about, listening to the guidance, uh, going through the gauntlet, uh, going through trial and error, and f finding out what works, what doesn't, refining listening throwing all that shit away again and then just doing and then refining again this is the process so right away here um, I wanted to say before I even started this uh, the, the, the couple videos I watched right before or, or kind of glanced upon was, uh, just shamanic vibes. So I, I knew that this was going to be shamanic vibes here as well. And, uh, absolutely it is, but it's just, this is an odd thing here. Like odd feeling with, with this, uh, video. Just because, like, with one person, I feel like hmm, the words. Maybe the other person should be interviewing uh, the other one, and not and not how this is set up right here. <clears throat> it becomes obvious who's uh, tuned in, who's connected, and who is. Uh, Still going through trials and tribulations. And not to say that uh, the other one isn't. It's just that uh, one of them's caught up in outer mas manifestations. One of them is dialed into inner manifestations. As within, so without. Truly attuning. And... Uh, the other one is, is a perfect representation of uh, what happens whenever you wish to attune, you want to attune, but you get you keep getting caught up in distractions. What happens is your body breaks, and you keep being forced back into the level of integration that you keep shying away from, and that person is. Of uh, this one. And uh, I, I don't know what happened to him. Uh, with, with his leg or whatever. You know. Uh, he's had. Two or more videos. Where he talks about pain. And, and undergoing. Uh, you know injuries and whatnot. And. And. Uh, on the on the same side, you know, uh, Zigzag also talks about uh, his uh, his uh, broken wrist injury a little bit, and he doesn't really go into uh, the healing of it. But I mean, they both kind of uh, reminisce and correlate upon the mentality that the pain brings you into, and this is why I uh, advocate going into the cold, going into the extremes, the polarities, because these forcing yourself to deal with this uh, level of uncom um, uncomfort. You, you, you bear witness. You begin to tap into the observer of what your body does during those, these certain states. If you stay with it, if you stay with the cold, all of a sudden your your body adapts and transitions, 
and then the sensations, the feelings, become uh, something else. You transmute. And then uh, through these experiences, you can, you can uh, have that kind of gnosis bleed into the rest of your life, bleed in to the inner depths of your beingness. As within, so without. This is this is what happens whenever we uh, take psychedelics or experience deep levels of uh, breath work or shamanistic healings or cold therapy, any kind of extreme modality, even just experiencing extreme pain. If we can uh, not freak out and go to you know uh, the hospital necessarily for a bullshit healing, but we listen to what our body is telling us. Listen to where we are being guided to, where the true healing is, where it stems from, where the uh, inspiration stems from to guide us towards true healing. practicing a lot is through meditation um, I've, I've had I don't know if you've had this but certain visualizations that came in very lucid vivid visualizations just pop in your head it could be a visualization of the sky and the, and, and, and the clouds and all that yep. but it's not like I'm purposely thinking yeah. of these things these things yeah. just pop into your head but then what I'll do is I'll just hold on to that image because if it's there why not practice that visualization muscle and just Focus on it so that when I do want to intentionally visualize something, it'll just pop in there. But I'm That's beautiful. That's fucking beautiful. Mm -hmm. And you can do this with sun gazing if you're uh, in the sun gazing. Close your eyes and have the image that's imprinted there. Uh, it's kind of like burned into your vision. Like bring that forth within uh, your your mind's eye, within your closed vision. And you can bring it forth into a brightness, into a clarity that's so much more brighter and more intense than actually staring at the sun. Or you can do this with a flame. You can bring the intensity level and, and the depths up into, um, into and onto the thresholds of going deeper. Of where you dive into that intensity. And so this is kind of like what they're talking about here with the levels of pain, the levels of engagement, uh, transmuting and transitioning past the pain into a, a new level of awareness. And I absolutely uh, echo Zigzag's <laughs> mentality here. In that, once you've touched upon a level so deep, like it doesn't necessarily matter what you're doing outside because that that integration uh, in work has already been done inside. So you will keep having these reflections and inflections happen inside of you that, that call you back into this awareness, back into this focus. This is what we out here are talking about. This fucking level of focus and engagement of this level of focus. And uh, this is what f motherfucking Wim Hof out here talking about. Engaging this level of focus. He talks about going into the cold to help to learn from it. The cold is the ultimate teacher. Learn from this cold. The cold brings you directly back into this level of beingness and whenever you stick with it you're brought into that direct engagement that direct gnosis and then you you begin to either remember are reminded or know the onion layers the the levels and the layers of beingness, of feeling, of integration. Oh, okay. 
So like, at first it feels like this, and then if I stick with it, it feels like this, and then if I stick with it, I have this sensation, and then I can transcend all of that and go into a deeper place. Noticing that it don't matter what I'm eating, these things are still occurring. One thing that I can tell you is I may feel a little bit more tired as far as like, you know, the density of food that I'm eating, but it ain't affecting me anymore spiritually or, or how it would affect my mindset because it's not, it's kind of like if, if I'm listening to information I'm eating, right? It's like, yes. I, like I spoke in the video. You know what I mean? There's people who will take things, but they'll utilize it as, as it is their God, but instead it should be used as a tool. You know what I mean? Like yes. the psychedelics you, you mentioned, what I said was there's nothing wrong with taking psychedelics, but how many people have tried to actually, you know, activate this molecule that's yes. natural, you know what I mean? Through you know, breath work or whatnot, like working out and stuff like that. Uh, I, I uh, make this joke with people that want to talk to me about DMT. I'm like, bro, I'm on that natural DMT drip. I got it going. And usually, you know, they're just like, oh, what the fuck ever. But I mean, if I happen upon someone who is interested, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Then, ah, then I got you. You got the hook, right? You you, you took the bait. And uh, my bait is not to, uh, it's not to pull you up out of the water like, like I'm fishing. I'm not fishing. I'm... I'm trying to bait you into an inner self-awareness so that uh, I bait you into interest and investing in interest in your own self-awareness of what's going on within you. So whenever I bait people into these things, ah, now we can go there deeper. Now I've caught your interest. So that uh, you can you can start to engage stuff. Uh, the the next layer of, of things that I'm going to mention, and be uh, interested in this engagement, because otherwise, um, if and, and this goes right into you know, don't fucking bother mentioning the shit shit to people that aren't interested in it or or that don't uh, show interest. And that, that doesn't mean, like, don't do it at all. It just means, like, be selective about it. Because otherwise you're going to be wasting your energy. And this is also something that's mentioned with these two guys. Is, uh, not wasting your energy. And having a succubus or incubus or a vampire. But I'll let you talk, man. I don't want to. I don't want to um, lose where where we were at. Yeah. So, so just a few things that, about the visualization. What, what you was mentioning. Um, you see, you used to work for this, um, or you started your own business as selling supplements, didn't you? Yes. Uh, yes, yeah, supplement like protein, free yeah. workout, the meal. So, so therefore, you would have read all the bunk and um, the magazines and and the books, and you would be keeping up to date on whatever spearheading in this realm. Well, you know yourself that all this stuff is very, very highly based on advertising because it's all about mm. driving for the money to be returned. And all of the people who are involved in business have got one thing in common. They want money and they want maximum returns. And so whenever you're reading something and it says that Dorian Yates, you know, stands by this, ask yourself the question, did Dorian Yates get a fucking payoff for this? Of course he did. Okay, and just for that fucking uh, example there, like, you can go fuck yourself. If you don't know what the fuck Dorian Yates is about, um, I presently. And, uh, of course, everyone in that kind of level of media is going to get a payoff. Otherwise, they wouldn't fucking do it. So, like, that's fucking stupid to even mention that because Dorian Yates is about um, high level 
uh, healing at this point. High level fucking healing and integration. So to even throw his name out there in, in that kind of uh, context. And that's, that's very ignorant. Very fucking ignorant. Yes, like obviously I see what you're trying to say. But that's going to be the case with fucking anybody. And so uh, you obviously haven't looked into Dorian Yeast recently. Very much at least. And saw what he's all about. With the healing, with the integration, with the deep level yoga practices. So uh, once again you're just showing your level of fucking... I don't know, like, hmm. I, I, I don't want to bash this guy too much, but, like, uh, everyone kind of, like, goes to uh, their own, what they want to see, like, the limits of what they want to see, or what they, what they think they have been guided to, and then they stop. And, and everyone does this. But, uh, if you're going to throw the name Dorian Yates out there, at least watch uh, London Real with Dorian Yates. And that's going to pretty much show you everything about Dorian Yates that, that you need to know in as far as uh, where he's come, you know. Which is a long fucking ways, and that, that guy is a very uh, integrated and intelligent man. But yeah, this is just uh, basically talking about the media. And of course, you know, uh, whenever you're president with some kind of advertisement, like you have to look into the layers of it. Who is benefiting from what? That's why he's going to be endorsing it. All this sort of thing. And so now what you've done is you've realized by coming out... And, and that's that's why I mention all that, because uh, if, if you know who Dorian Yates is nowadays, uh, why he's, he is endorsing something is, is probably a little bit more deeper than, than just being having a payoff. Dorian Yates nowadays is very, uh, very into the integrative works. So if, if Dorian Yates... And then again, I don't know, I don't know exactly, precisely what he's talking about, so, I mean, maybe, like, he, he's talking about something that's, you know, bodybuilding bullshit, and he, Dorian Yates is just getting a payoff. I don't fucking know. I'm just speaking from a perspective of uh, what I've seen of Dorian Yates, and where he's come, uh, the integrative work that he's done with plant spirit medicines and yoga and deep deep levels of engagement. So whenever a person like that endorses something, I'm going to at least look into it. I'm not going to just fucking, oh, this guy looks, <laughs> this guy, this guy's into it, so I'm going to be into it. No, you, sh you should never do that. Like, look, in look into it for yourself. That indoctrination You've let your body speak for itself, and now you're seeing the fallacy in all of it. And that's a beautiful position to be in, because now you are doing the trial and error with your own body. And that's what we all must do, because we do get affected by certain things. Some people will mm. have stomach cramps in relation to one food, whereas another person won't. Some people will feel very heavy and drained having eaten um, you know, bread or wheat products or this sort of thing. And so... This stuff does happen, but it doesn't happen to everybody. It, like, no one size fits all. Mm. You've got to work out how your metabolism deals with each individual food. And so yes. that's one of the things that I wanted to cover. And this is what I was doing for many, many years whilst I was um, uh, trying to optimize my fitness level, you know. And then, like you say, in relation to your meditation, it doesn't affect that. And your, your spiritual gains, it doesn't affect that. When I was um, trying to uh, astral project, 
I was reading as much as I could and I was watching hundreds and hundreds of videos. Well, right there, first and foremost, that's where you uh, fucked up because I'm trying to experience something inside of me and so I'm, I'm, re I'm doing all this stuff outside of me. And this isn't just a fucking, like, you know, fucking, uh, lay, lay, on, lay, all, lay it all on this fucking guy. Uh, this is just a perfect representation uh, of what happens whenever uh, we start to engage stuff inside. We, we want to learn and, and know more stuff about it. And this is the fucking set up. This is the indoctrination system. Whenever you get excited about something inside of you, you want to learn about it outside of you. You seek outside of you. That's the whole fucking game. Period. To distract you from what's going on inside of you. To keep you and constantly engaging what's going on inside of you to keep you from becoming aware of the connection that what you are experiencing within is a direct, not necessarily a direct reflection, but a co direct correlation. The correlations that happen as within, so without. This is what... The whole system is set up to distract you from the linguistics, the syntax, the cement. The semantics, but the cymatics are, are the pure representation. The vibration is what you want to tap into. Uh, uh, the stillness within that. So tap into the chords. Tap into your... Uh, tones, your tonalities, uh, toning with your vibration. And within the stillness, that's going to um, have you access deep level healing. But whenever you uh, are caught up within uh, forming these vibrations into words and spellings, then you uh, it's going to lead you into a place where it's outside of what the engagement is, which, which is inside. And then uh, dissolving the layers of as within, so without, and engaging this. So what I recommend is uh, toning. And attuning. But not getting caught up in either polarity, finding the center point. Finding the stillness and engaging this because uh, uh, for most people, like finding stillness is, is so unheard of and it's not something that they can really do. They're so caught up in being distracted and going from this to that to that to this. And engaging their wordage and attaching that to the imagery of their reality and the mentality of what they are perceiving. Well, once you can dissolve the goddamn wordage... You can start to experience what you are perceiving in a clearer and purer 
aspect. And engagement and engaging in this purity and uh, within that stillness, like you, you access um, language beyond language and you access uh, your, your archetypal language, your ancestral language. And if you feel the need to, you can start to emote in uh, this ancestral language. But until you've sort of ta t started to tap into this type of feeling and engaging, you need to just take a step fucking back. You need to sit the fuck down, as in chill, chill out, take a step back, start, stop engaging with your mentality. Um, and as far as the indoctrination linguistics that you have been taught to engage and start to engage vibrations in the, in the form of uh, semantics and reverberations of what's going on inside of you. Start to experiment with meditating and vibrating and toning. And, and just being isolated in places to where you can really tap in deep into deep level awarenesses. And then you can sort of have a trickle down effect to where you start to experience these things in, in everyday life, like in every moment of your life, you start to experience these things. Even within other people, like you start to break down their tonalities and their vibrations and what they're really saying within the uh, tonalities of their wordage. It's like you uh, tap into this other level of language and understanding of this. And people will all... Sorry? I'm definitely going to get into that because I actually had an experience, but I'll let you finish Yeah. It. And so people, people were saying, oh, you can't eat this, and you can't eat that, and you've got to be spiritual, and you've got to be vegan, and all this sort of stuff. And so I tried it. I tried a, a, a one-week water fast whereby I just drank water, and it never helped me in any shape or form. And he said this as well about uh, the the urine or the urine fasting. And uh, to me... Just, oh, okay, well, there's the, just how he, uh, just how he said that, like, to me, uh, says, says a lot of things, which is, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to say, like, what, what is obvious to me, because if it's obvious to you, then it's just obvious. But uh, if you're doing this like deeper level fasting, then uh, you're going to have things happen. You you you're tapping into like a a, a very fine tuned system. You're you're refining and redefining uh, your your input and so your your quote unquote output of you know how that's going to reflect in your thoughts your levels of <coughs> sorry your levels of uh, being of feeling uh, perceiving how you perceive things it's all going to shift and change and and, and reattune to what your diet is so if if you're if you are out here saying that your deity, um, your mentality did not change with changing your deity and taking 
And like I just said in my last one, less is more. So uh, whenever you start taking stuff out, and if you say that I took, I took so much out of my diet, and I'm just on water fast, and I did it for however long, and I didn't notice anything. You're full of fucking shit. You're full of fucking shit. If you say you fucking did an Oren fast and you didn't ex you didn't notice any kind of difference. Who? Fuck you. Fuck you, dude. You're full of fucking shit. Literally and figuratively. You're full of fucking shit. Unless maybe, like, you've been doing this for uh, a long period of time, and you go in and out of, like, uh, deep local fast, and I, 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 I definitely understand like, what that's like in doing this. But at the same time, like, you're going to have a direct correlation to your inner and outer worlds with what you're putting in your body. So, like, hmm... The more inner work you do, the more uh, realiza realization that you have of uh, people who are full of shit. And then when they, whenever they say things that are fuck shit, then you're like, yeah, that's not how it works, dude. I've been through the gauntlet. I've, uh, I know people who have been through the gauntlet. So uh, whenever you talk about, oh, I've been through the gauntlet and it didn't do shit. You can go fucking fuck yourself. That's that's bitch mode right there, dude. If you want to say anything close to that, you need to have a little bit more fucking context to what your diet really was. Because it wasn't what you're saying it was. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, Watch more of this video, and uh, I recommend you guys do as well. If if you want to have uh, you know uh, one side of a of someone who really dives down deep into the shit, and the other side of uh, someone who kind of does, kind of doesn't, uh, talks this and that about it, uh, uh, says they do, but then says that nothing happens to them. Yeah, then check the video out. Uh, I am interested in, in, you know, the title of the video and uh, going into more of that, hopefully, with with, with the dream stuff and, and, and whatnot. <sighs> but I do appreciate, you know, the talk about transitioning, uh, transmuting pain and mentalities and how that reflects in your reality. But, uh, don't talk about diet and deities and fasting uh, unless you have experienced it to a point where um, it has shifted your mentality. And I say, I say that, but, but like, talk about whatever you want. Like, I don't give a fuck. But I'm just saying, like, if you're going to talk about something, like, at least fucking do it and be real about it. Like, get down into the deep depths of it. Don't just fucking say, Oh, I did it, and it didn't do anything for me. And, and yeah, maybe that, that is the case, but if it is, like, you gotta go a little bit deeper within the details, because uh, that's not the case for anyone else. So if that's the case for you, then you're, you're a goddamn uh, anomaly. So explain why you are an anomaly. Explain your level of, of uh, engagement with it. It's just, it's just frustrating. Like whenever whenever people uh, say things like 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 
like this. Like, maybe they've experienced some level of stuff, and then, like, oh, there's just, like, the, uh, the darker level of egotism, like, involved with it. It's like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? This is why you keep getting injured. This is why you keep getting humbled. Is because of your fuck shit. So stop that. And then you won't keep getting humbled. You're, you're able to transcend you know, the layers that you need to transcend. Stop your fucking fuck shit. Jesus. Okay, and he, here's the card that we drew. Because it's about goddamn time that we drew this fucking card. My card. This is this is my card. Okay, I'm trying to get the lighting fucking situated. Jeez. Wow, that's interesting. Huh. It is what it is. The lion, keyword strength, generosity, majesty, protection. I've been getting a lot of protection vibes lately. Also strength, like a protection and strength. Big, big energies lately. The lion card promises great protection from powerful forces. Throughout history, the lion has been touted as the king of beasts. Aslan, the lion ruler in C.S. Lewis's The Chronicles of Narnia, is the best known embodiment of this regal animal in modern literature. His generous spirit served protection to those protect those who visited Narnia in ancient mythology the Egyptian goddess Sekhmet was depicted with the head of a lioness to su suggest her intense warrior spirit in other cultures Hindu legend tells of the Yali an ancient supreme 
girl, lion-like creature, more powerful than any other animal. And it is interesting how they do not have a uh, long dialogue at all about the lion. And the uh, image depicted is of a lion and a a woman. Hinting at uh, where true strength lies, with it, which is the female aspect, the choice of the female into uh, onto, <laughs> into and onto exactly uh, what she allows into her and onto, and uh, what she allows to uh, take root inside of her. And this is a big aspect of what is changing now, is that uh, um, more and more females are feeling the call of having true like masculine energy, a true uh, more harmonious aspect of the masculine energy to uh, be the ones to father their child, be the ones to integrate with and create a triune. So a big shout out to all you mothers out there who are having babies with, with fathers who have integrated a little bit more of the masculine and the feminine within themselves. Because uh, this, this is the only thing that's going to change our, our, our circumstance beyond like a mentality and, and a repositioning and transitioning of what is actually real it's it's going to come down to the feminine to uh deciding do i want to have a true masculine human engage with me and, and Create another life, create a, a triangle and, and really, really tapping into that, that inner gnosis of no, like, I'm not going to just willy nilly do this. This is of utmost importance, and I'm going to choose the right kind of person to procreate with and then we're going to ha start having a movie we already are and this is you know why a lot of outlets are going crazy about the the, the child uh censorship censorship it's because the, uh, the the childs are going to start showing the adults, the the adults, what's up. And if you are fucking paying attention, they already fucking are. You just gotta open your goddamn eyes up and shut the fuck up in your head and look into the goddamn child's eyes, and they will tell you. They will reflect back to you what you are feeling within, but they will also tell you if you are able to shut the fuck up in your head. They will tell you everything you need to know. Just just in a moment's gaze. In, in the pure in the pure mind state and and interaction with a young child's gaze they will help you reattune what the fuck is actually going on within and without 
So, uh, yeah. Get real. Fucking deal with it. Remember how to heal with it. And, uh, then things, uh, more and more things will open up outside as you continue to deal and heal with the things inside. And yes, yes, pain has a, has a very, uh, potent message. But, uh, whenever we distract ourselves from that message that the pain has, whenever we feel like we have to just get through the pain. We have to d dissociate and distract so that we can uh, get, finally get through the pain in order to get um, back to some sort of semblance, uh, resemblance of uh, normalcy. We're missing the entire fucking point of why we are going through this fucking pain. So transcend it. Feel it. That's how you, that's how you fucking transcend it. You gotta feel into it. Uh, no matter what kind of pain it is. Bodily, emotional, uh, spiritual. You dive down deep into why you are feeling it. And you're able to see the deeper level of the outer manifestations. That, that are being reflected back to you about your pain. Engage the mirror. S start to reevaluate what you are seeing and what you are being shown. Reposition and retransition yourself into a clear state of engagement and gnosis. And then you can really start to tap into the deeper layers of the onion. I see things for a little bit more clear, a little bit more clear. The deeper and deeper you go down the rabbit hole into the layers. So yeah, that's it for now. Keep engaging the real and, and finding the stillness and the gnosis, the engagement. Uh, you can call it meditation, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Engage that stillness. And whatever kind of uh, outer positioning you need to have to do this. If you need to go into isolation, into a cave, into a room, into darkness, into an isolation tank, into nature. Whatever you need to do. Whatever speaks to you and calls to you, do it, engage it. You're going to gain so much more awareness from this than, than any kind of outside seeking. It's the inner seeking that really speaks the loudest and has the most lasting effect. So engage this. Engage what you truly are. Peace.